Astari from Indonesia is on her way to meet a young Australian couple. She's going to live with them in the inner city for a few days. I've always lived in the city, and I'm really looking forward to what the city life in Australia would be like. Meet Tang, Robin and Ella. They live in an inner city apartment in Sydney. Hello. Hello. I'm Robin. Hi, Robin. I'm Asdari. Come on in. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet oh. you too. Just this way. This way? Yes. Oh. Hi. Oh. <laughs> this is my husband, Tang. Oh, hello. Hi, hi, how are you? Nice, nice to, to meet, meet you. you. And this is our dog, Ella. <laughs> oh, hello, Ella. Oh, look at you. You're gorgeous. Oh, you like dogs? Yeah, I love dogs. Oh, good, I have I'm glad. <laughs> oh, she already likes me. Absolutely. <laughs> Come on through. Oh, wow. So this is your apartment? Yes. You know, I never lived in one. Oh, really? Yeah, we, all, we always live in a house. Oh. Oh, you yeah. can see how you like it then. You know, when, when the sun comes down a little bit, you can see the bats. There's a whole really? bunch of bats. Yeah, yeah. They just go streaming across. You'll, you'll see that very soon. Can I see it now? <laughs> It'll come. <laughs> It'll come yeah. in time. Yeah. But oh. you can see a beautiful sunset across here. Yeah, that's oh, you're sunset. very lucky. Yeah, we are. We think so. How long have you been living here? Um, Five, six years? Five or six years now. Yeah. Do you grow up in Sydney though? Um, I grew up in Newcastle, which is um, about 250 kilometres away. It's a smaller city. But um, Teng grew up in Malaysia. Yeah, Malaysia. Oh, and then you moved here. Yeah. We're neighbours. <laughs> this is your room. Oh. Come in. Sorry, it's a little Bicycle bit... Bicycle room yes. too. It's a little bit crowded. <laughs> I hope it's all right. I hope it's not it's so uncomfortable. Right. It's little, if it's not inflated enough, we can inflate it a bit more. Oh, okay. it's inflated bed? Yeah. Because <laughs> it's an apartment. We don't normally have a bed in here. Oh, yeah. I Otherwise, see. it takes up too much room. Interesting. Yes, I can see that. <laughs> oh, okay. And then the down room. This is our bedroom in here. This is really cool. <laughs> and this is Ella. Where does Ella sleep? Yes, that's Ella's bed. She likes to sleep next to Tang at night. Tiny <laughs> bed. Wow, look at these. Tang and I first met when we were at university. Uh, we were both in Chinese 101, and what happened was I was walking out of Chinese history class one day with my friend Jane, and she said to me, oh, Robin, this is Tang. Tang, this is Robin. And all I caught was Chong. <laughs> I didn't catch his full name. <laughs> And um, then I noticed that Tongs kept following me when I, I was in Chinese. You did too. You. And uh, every time I sat down in Chinese class, dang, he was right next to me. And then I was on the bus and I had this conversation. I said to him, so, what do your friends call you? <laughs> and he says to me, oh, they call me Tengi. I said, and I still didn't catch it. So I said must to him, be mumbling. You must have been must mumbling. Have been mum my mumbling fan. He was mumbling. Yeah. And so I said to him, Will, how do you spell that? <laughs> and he says to me, Ah, oh, T N G I E. And I said, Ah, oh, right, Teng. <laughs> so I finally learned his name and we started going out. I'm training to be an ophthalmologist, which is a, a doctor that specializes in eye conditions and treats eye, eye diseases. Make sure that's dry and then we'll check your vision. So living in Sydney, obviously, you know, where we live is, is inner city and it's very close to um, everything, close to the action, and I love it. It's, it's fantastic. Thanks, have a seat, Mr. Uh, I couldn't imagine living anywhere else at this point. I'm a lawyer and I've been practicing for the last five years. I have specialised in family law and these days I mostly do children's cases and I really enjoy the work I do. 
I'm really, really lucky to have this lifestyle. Um, my parents came from a very, very poor background and they immigrated here from China when they were very young. And um, I'm so lucky and blessed. Robin and Teng treat Astari to some home cooking. No, no, no. <laughs> Do you always cook? I love to cook. Um, Me too. Do you? <laughs> we could share recipes. Excellent. Good. What kind of food do you like cooking? Um, anything that easy. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> this is easy. Now we have to make this sauce um, out on the balcony. Why? The fumes. That's what you do in apartment. Yeah, the fumes get too much for Malaysian cooking. So I'll grab the wok. Salt. Oh, that's a pretty big gas. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's really good, actually. Yeah. So this way, if it gets a little bit smoky, only the neighbours come. <laughs> so I feel a little bit sad for the neighbours. <laughs> Can I get you a drink? Oh, yeah. great. What would you like? Um, anything that you have. I'm going to have a beer. Okay. Have a beer? Or like wine. Um, I'd like a glass of wine. There you go. Wine for you. Ah, oh, fantastic. Thank you. And there you go. That's cheers. Cheers? Oh. oh. Cheers. Welcome cheers. to Sydney. Welcome. I hope Thank you enjoy you. your stay. Yeah. I will. <laughs> so I hope you like chicken, Astari. What do you call it? Hainan? Hainanese chicken. Hainan. Hainanese chicken. I didn't actually eat spicy food um, before I met Tang. So I only learned to eat chilies after I met him. So what do you do in your spare time? Uh, my spare time, I love cooking. Mm -hmm. um, I love reading. Uh, I like entertaining friends. So we often have friends over for dinner and things like that. Um, you really love swimming? I love swimming. So now mm -hmm. that it's really summer, it's great. Is it far the beach from here? Uh, it's only about 15 minutes drive mm. and the pool is really close so maybe we can go down there. Oh, that's a good idea. I love swimming too. Do you? Great. Yeah. Mm, I love it. They inflated the bed. It's an air bed. <laughs> How cute is it? I think it's true. I think living in an apartment is more convenient, especially if you're working in the city. It means that you don't have to travel a lot to your workplace. Unlike in Jakarta, where I live, I have to travel about one and a half hour in the morning, probably two if the traffic is really bad, and another two from the office back to the house. It's a beautiful morning and breakfast is served bright and early. Teng's off to work and Robin has the day off to spend time with Astari. Astari, breakfast is ready. Coming. Good morning. Good morning. Hey, how are you? Hi, I'm good. How Slept did you sleep? Well. Yeah. Very well. Was the bed all right? Yeah. Yeah? Thank you. So what are you guys doing today? What's the plan? Well, I thought we could go out for a walk mm -hmm. and we could also go to the pool for a swim. <laughs> That's a great idea. Oh, morning, Ella. All right, I'm off. You are? Yep, enjoy the pool. All right, we will. I'll see you guys. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye. We choose to live in the inner city because of the lifestyle and the facilities and entertainment that's around. And we also really enjoy being very close to work and just the convenience of it all. Do you come here often? Yeah, we come here and sometimes we pack a picnic with us. Mm -hmm. And so we can have a picnic and... Oh, with Ella. Oh, <laughs> not with Ella inside the botanic gardens. <laughs> no dogs allowed. Oh. But definitely around the corner, outside, we can take Ella. And we often bring Ella for a walk down here too. It's a really wonderful place. It sure is, I love it. Two years ago, I mm -hmm. didn't know how to swim. I could only swim 20 metres. Mm -hmm. But a um, little bit of practice and, and now I'm really happy to swim in the ocean. And My next goal in swimming is to swim in this bay. There's a 1.5 kilometre ocean <laughs> swim. It's a lap inside the bay and yeah, I'm looking forward to it. Uh, you have to be pretty fit to do that. I'm not sure I can do that. Yeah, you can. It's only 30 laps of the swimming pool, so it's not too bad. <laughs> You ready for a swim? <laughs> I am. Great. You're going to love the pool.
if I have to compare it to Jakarta, I would say Sydney has a different lifestyle. In Sydney, people are more active. They love outdoors, they love their beach, they love anything that involves outdoor activities, they will go for it. While in Jakarta, they don't go much outside. One thing, I, th I guess it's because of the weather. In Jakarta, the weather is so hot and very humid. We just live um, <clears throat> just over there, yeah. So yeah. it's only about 20 minutes walk and it's easy to get to. So I get lost <laughs> I just remember that tall building. <laughs> yes, we live next to that. It's really good to live in an apartment near your city, isn't it? Oh, I love it. I really, really love it. It's so convenient. I can walk everywhere and um, it's good exercise to walk as well. So, Astari, we're heading up to Mrs Macquarie's chair mm -hmm. um, and it's a really famous point in Sydney. The... This is Mrs Macquarie. Oh, Mrs Macquarie, there was a Governor Macquarie in the 1800s uh -huh. and he had this chair carved out into the sandstone for his wife, Mrs oh, Macquarie, wife. so that she could sit there and enjoy the beautiful view. Have a picnic. <laughs> Have a picnic. Absolutely. Maybe. <laughs> and this place is really, really popular at uh, New Year's Eve. Beautiful. Yeah, it's fantastic. So oh. thousands of people come down here with their picnic rugs and their champagne bottles to uh, bring in the New Year. We could be the the Macquarie's. Mrs. Macquarie. We could be the Miss Macquarie's, and I could be the governor. <laughs> so do you. So what do you think of the view? Absolutely stunning. It's amazing, isn't it? Amazing. Truly really amazing. I could sit here all day doing nothing. <laughs> <laughs> maybe that's what Mrs. Macquarie did. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we just have to walk down here and maybe 20 minutes, and we can enjoy one of the most beautiful views in the world. And be Mrs. Macquarie's for a while. <laughs> Maybe we need tea and sandwiches. Yeah, we should bring it. <laughs> it's just it's so tiring, all of this walk and swim today. But I'm proud of myself. I did two laps of swimming, and I think we walk like two hours or something today. Every time I look at the Harbour Bridge and the Opera House, they are just remarkably beautiful. I think I could just stay there all day just staring at them. Huh. Maybe I should move to Sydney. <laughs> Astari loves gardening, but this is a different type of garden to the one she's used to back home in Indonesia. I love your garden, by the way. Oh, thanks. Um... I can only have a small garden because I live in an apartment, but because um, we've got such a small space, I've just put in lots of different lots pot of plants. Pots, yeah. yeah. And I've got lots of different herbs because I love cooking, so everything smells nice. So right now, we're going to head to the art gallery called The Artery. It's where we got that great Aboriginal painting that, that we've got in the house, in the apartment. Oh, I love that. Yeah, so it's really close by, actually, just around the corner. Uh-huh. Let's go in and check it out, huh? Yeah, let's have a look. After you. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, so come and have a look. So what do you think, Astari? Wow, it's gorgeous. I love the colours. They're, They're really, really bright. bright. Yeah. yeah. You're right. I think this place is very good because they cultivate a lot of artists, so they make contacts with a lot of the artists in, in, the, um, you know, in the Northern Territory, mm -hmm. in Central Australia, and they also help to support them uh, in their art. We like all kinds of art, and so often when we go out for a walk, we go and have a look at all the little galleries around here. There's oh, quite there's a lot lots, in the neighbourhood, yes. and we just go for a walk and it's kind of don't know where we're going and mm. run into all these little tiny yeah, And a lot of these things change all the time. You know, people bring stuff in for mm. sale or there's new exhibitions. Mm. And yeah, they, it's, it's quite, you know, there's always something different to look at. It's Friday night and the end of the working week. Some of Robin and Teng's friends gather at their apartment for drinks 
and a ketchup. Isn't that amazing? So she learns to swim and then she thinks, well, you know what I'm going to tackle? <laughs> a pool is a bit too easy. I'm, I'm going to go in the ocean. <laughs> and now you learn to dance, so... I know. Oh, yes. what are you learning? Um, a little bit tank. of... Well, we're doing it together. He's my leading yeah. man. <laughs> well, we've been doing it since the wedding. It's true. Yeah. We learned for the wedding and then we yeah. just continued it from there. Oh, okay. In Indonesia, there are not so many people who train. It's so different. Uh, like on Friday night in Jakarta, we usually just meet up after work um, for a dinner straight away, and then we will have some coffee afterward, or maybe we just go out and see movie on Friday night, but no drinks. We have to walk back up the hill. <laughs> <laughs> I have a bunch of girlfriends that I get together after work with and we have a drink. Um, that's really great too because we get a chance to debrief about our work and, and also talk about things that we're up to. We've told the story about those places on Kensington, you know, in Kensington. Yeah. We're going to take it. We're going to try and get it there. I think, especially in a big city, it's very important to have close friends and good friends that you've known for a while and, and that know you. Um, it can be very lonely being new somewhere. So it's, it's very important to have people who you know and can support you um, without judging you and, and just be there for you. Cheers to a story! Obviously, I had too much drinks. I had too much walking. I had too much of everything right now. I'm so, so tired. So that's it. I'm gonna call it a day. Good night. After a late night out, Astari and her hosts enjoy a leisurely morning at a nearby cafe. Are you tired? I was. I woke up this morning with a little bit of headache. Oh, and then cold nose and that's very traditional. That's I very think Australian. That's, got a hangover. that's very Australian. <laughs> I had a little drink last yeah, night. Yeah. Only a couple of drinks, I guess. Okay, so it's very traditional that if you've been out the night before yeah. at the pub, yeah. Yeah. you wake up feeling a little bit seedy. And, and what? Then? A little bit seedy. Seedy. <laughs> seedy is when, you know, you just don't quite feel, you know, there's a bit of a headache, your mouth feels funny, you go, oh. A little bit dry. Yeah, drink lots of water, and that's then you'll feel a bit better. That's why I asked you last night, like, is there any rules? Oh, that's all. Oh, rule. sorry, like, oh. God. <laughs> what do you drink? We didn't, we didn't think you meant bar. survival rules. Okay. <laughs> you know, yeah, heart disease. I think Astari is discovering how multicultural and diverse Australian city life is. I think she's probably also discovering what uh, Australian people like to do in their free time and um, how we enjoy um, our city in terms of the places we go and the things we do and the activities. So yeah, this is our farmer's market, huh? Mm -hmm. The growers market. So it's here every... Every week, isn't it? Every Saturday. Yeah, every weekend. Farmers caskets are really popular these days, you know. Um, people like to be able to meet the people that grow and um, make the things. And yeah, I mean, it's much more personal as well. It's, there's a real sense of community about it. It's not like going to the supermarket and it's very impersonal where everything just gets scanned. All of these products, yeah. they grow nearby. They try to encourage producers from the um, agricultural areas close by to Sydney so that there's not a lot of transport costs. Yeah. You support people who are um, trying to make Good. things locally. That's why it's cheap. Yeah, definitely. And you know, you get to taste stuff and it's really, it's really <laughs> yummy. You get to meet the people. So you remember I was born in Malaysia and um, essentially um, I finished primary school, so I sort of mm -hmm. grew up in Malaysia, finished primary school in Malaysia. And, and you moved to Australia. Yeah, I didn't come to Australia until mm -hmm. we were about to start high school. So essentially my parents thought, you know, 
it would be much better for education. So we moved in 88, so that was for my first year of secondary school, and we've been here ever since. I think a star is learning how much we walk around the inner city, and I think she's really been that used to walking. Yeah. Everywhere is within walking distance. You wouldn't need a car, you wouldn't need a public transportation, and it keeps you healthy because you're moving, actively moving everywhere. A little corner bakery. Well, it's, it's a little bit far, but yeah, it's Burke Street Bakery, quite famous. They make some really nice stuff. They make some delicious stuff. Have a look in the window. Oh. Okay. Next place. What is it? Sausage roll? The lamb and harissa sausage roll. Take away the beef. Yeah. 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 Okay. Thank you. It's a starry's last day. Friends will arrive soon for a final gathering and a bite to eat. Gatherings in Indonesia with my family, yes. but we never had brunch. Oh, really? Yeah, we always have lunch. You never had brunch? Oh, no. look, it's the best one. It's in between breakfast and lunch. And that Cheers. means you can have breakfast, brunch, <laughs> and lunch. It's too long. Brunch is really only a weekend thing. You know, no one really does brunch on oh, the weekday. No, we don't have time. No. So it's only <laughs> we on the weekend. Yeah. That's right. Yeah, but on the weekend, I like to slip in. <laughs> <laughs> Going out, so. I think, yeah, I think people, you know, maybe they get up in the morning and do some exercise or something. Or even just go for a walk, like we went for a walk to the gallery. Yeah. So what surprised you most about your week here? Was there anything surprising? Mm -hmm. <laughs> or I was going to say walking. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's very honest. I was very honest. That's yeah. good. You didn't think you'd be doing quite so much walking. <laughs> yes, Jeremy. Well, like the other day, Robin and Tang, um, they said, OK, we'll go to the city. Oh, cool. I thought, like, oh, we go driving or, or we catch the train or bus. <laughs> All right. So I'm so excited and said, OK, how do we go there? Walk, of course. What else? <laughs> yeah, exactly. I'm so sad to leave because the last few days, I really had a very good fun. I really hope that I could come back again here and see Robin and Tang again and also with uh, the other friends. Um, I'm so happy that I've met them. Alrighty, everybody out. Thank you. Hopefully Astari will have learned a little bit about what life is like uh, in the inner city. Um, hopefully she also realizes that, you know, um, big cities are not, not all that scary and, you know, it's, it's quite easy and impossible to make friends and, and make new networks and, and integrate into, into society here quite, quite nicely. <laughs> Ella wants to say goodbye too. Bye. Thank you, bye, bye bye. And Astari heads off for her next Australian adventure.